Hey guys, it's your girl Kimberly Reese Mensa. How y'all doing? Listen, I always get the question about when I travel, where is my favorite way to travel? What's my favorite way to travel? And what do you get when you travel in certain classes, right? So today I'm going to talk about what my favorites are when it comes to traveling. Um, first class, uh, business class, and uh, comfort on Delta Airline. So first, let me say that I am a um, medallion member and I am uh, a gold medallion member. Um, and that's because I've been traveling um, on Delta for many years. Like Delta is my go-to um, airline, right? <clears throat> so, um, you know, a lot of people ask, you know, what is it that, you know, you like in regards to, you know, the, the certain classes, like where you sit and all that good stuff. So today I'm going to talk about that and talk about some of the things you get and, you know, some of the great uh, amenities for, uh, sorry, that was a net, and uh, the, the amenities you get when you sit in each class. I've never sat in Maine before. So I know that sounds crazy, probably a little bougie, but it's just because I have lots of points and I get free upgrades. So <clears throat> I don't have to sit in Maine. This again, this, and let me be specific, this is for international travel, okay? We'll talk about domestic in a minute, maybe another video, but today's video is about uh, international travel. So I don't sit in Maine, but I will tell you that those who do, and my daughter has, has sat in Maine when she's come uh, to Africa with me, um... And she talks about the difference, you know, of what you get, what you don't get. Okay. So I will kind of share with you what, what I've been told about Maine. So in Maine, you get, it's very basic. Of course, your seat is smaller. Um, there are amenities and things they give you that you don't get, you know, um, in Maine that you would get, say, in Comfort Plus or Premium Select or Delta One, right? <clears throat> so, um, and you you don't get like little kits you don't get you do get a pillow you do get a uh, a blanket um it's very thin and a very little small pillow um and you get the regular breakfast you can't order it you can't pick what you want unless you pick a specific type of meal on the website which is like say you want a salt free meal you need a kosher meal or something like that that you can do ahead of time you know i will say this <clears throat> unfortunately in my you know, experience. Like I uh, have done, you know, salt free or low sodium meals. And, and this is, I've sat, you know, in other classes and they were like, oh, we don't have it. So I just stopped doing it. I just kind of just be very careful of what, you know, I, I do when I am, um, you know, buying, uh, I'm sitting uh, when I'm eating, when I'm ordering. Okay. So that's all I can tell you about Maine. Um, you know, you would just, you know, as you would probably know, it's going to be basic. It's going to, you get the basic amenities. Um, your seat doesn't lean back, you know, you, it might lean back a little bit, but not to the point to where you're really comfortable. So if you go to travel international, it pays to pay a little extra and upgrade to comfort plus. Okay. If you are a main person where you primarily travel main, but if you want those people that you can handle the no leg room and you can handle the small seats and just a the minimal, then, then, you know, then the main is for you. You can save a lot of money that way. Okay. So now let's talk about, uh, riding in comfort. So let's talk about comfort plus. Now I've actually taken comfort plus many times, but what has happened is, is I, when I book my flight, just a little trick of those of you who, who are already medallion members, right? When I book my flight, I book main. And so I pay the main price. This is a little trick. And then what I do is, is I get a free upgrade. And, but it's a list you have to be on for the upgrade. So <clears throat> they give you the upgrade. It's sometimes it's kind of ch chancy. You got to be careful with it. But they do the upgrade like a few hours before you are supposed to depart, they will upgrade you that day. If you don't want to risk it, go ahead and pay for the comfort. So I have done that before because I kind of know how I've taken the same flight many times and I know kind of what seats are available and how many seats are available. Most of the main seats are going to be booked, but the comfort seats are not always completely booked. And if you go to your app, I, I download the, uh, the Delta app, they show you on the app what um, it's available for um, for comfort if you want to get your, your upgrade. If it's not that many, I don't take it. I just go ahead and just book comfort in the beginning, right? Okay, so let's talk about what they give you in comfort. This is the travel kit they give you in comfort, right? 
So let's open it up. Now this one I haven't opened because I've had it for a while. Um, I don't, um, <clears throat> I don't see that comfort plus. You see that right there? Okay. <laughs> I don't, uh, again, I don't write in comfort that much, but when I do, this is what they give you. Okay. So you get a toothbrush, right? You get <clears throat> an eye mask. I just dropped some stuff. Hold on. <laughs> you get some ear plugs, you know, which is nice to have because the, the plane itself is very, very, it's kind of loud, honestly. Like even the biggest ones, it still has this, you know, if you don't want to hear that, then, you know, you want to go to sleep. And then you have, uh, toothpaste, little tube toothpaste to go with your toothbrush. Okay. So that is what you get in the comfort packet travel kit, right? <clears throat> you get a regular meal. You also get offered, uh, headphones. You get headphones, um, in, um, <clears throat> in Maine as well if you request them, but they automatically give them to you in comfort. So that's the other thing, you don't have to ask for it, they come around for it. If you're in Maine, you have to ask a lot of times, okay? So that is comfort. Now, let's talk about Premium Select. This is what they give you in Premium Select. Cute little reusable thing. And um, <clears throat> I have lots of these because again, I typically travel in comfort, but then I get an upgrade, I pay for an upgrade, let me make that very clear, or I get a free upgrade because I have so many uh, points, and this is what they give you in uh, Premium Select. So let's open this up, <clears throat> and there's lots of cute things in here. So in here is your toothbrush. Now, you see how it's packaged a little bit different? So there's your toothbrush. <clears throat> there's your earplugs. That's cute. Here's your, your eye patch, which matches your bag, right? And it's, it's, it's completely different. This is the difference between the eye patches. This one is a, you know, kind of, you know, it works, but this one is very comfortable. Very comfortable. It has a bigger stretchy band and all that good stuff, okay? There's a difference between the two. <clears throat> you get a pair of socks. Now, you guys know, um, these aren't compression socks, but they come in handy when you're sitting in the seat and you've got your shoes off and you want to be comfortable if you don't have a good pair. Or, you know, sometimes I put these on top of the socks I already have on. So these are really cute. And then, you know, you can reuse these, right? You can rewear those um, for the other day. <clears throat> this is the toothpaste that comes with the, um, I don't know if that would focus. Is that focus, focus, focus. Anyway, this is the toothpaste that comes with um, the toothbrush. And, and, oh, and that's it. <laughs> that's it, yeah. I feel like there was something else in here. But no, toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, I, I forget, and I have to get to the, um, to the uh, Delta One. And a sock, and <clears throat> your eye patch, and your your earplugs. The difference between the earplugs, the big difference between the earplugs that here, these are bigger. Um, they're wider and you know, you squeeze them and then they, they fill up very quickly. These, they kind of fill up. You can tell the difference between uh, the quality of the earplugs. So that is what you get. And of course, the difference is you do not get the socks and you get to have this uh, collectible, okay? This reusable little pouch. So it's really cute. <clears throat> this is the Delta One. Okay, this is a Delta One pack. As you see, it's a little wider. Um, and I, I've, I've had two uh, De Delta One packs. I have another one that is gray in the zipper, and I actually still use that for makeup. It's really a good one. Um, this one, I think they're they're uh, using um, like sustainable like companies to make these. So this is very similar to um, the uh, premium, but it's just a little bigger. So let's see what's in here. <clears throat> now this is comes with a little patch, little pouch in there. Okay. And inside the pouch, oh, it's so cute. It's a bigger tube uh, of toothpaste. Okay. A larger tube of, of toothpaste. Um, oh no, 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 sorry. This is hand cream. Sorry. This is hand cream. 
And this is the toothpaste. Yeah, it's the toothpaste. They're both black, so I always get it confused. Okay. So, and that comes in a little pouch, you know, which is another little keepsake. So, you know, it's, it's just the little elements that make a difference. Um, <clears throat> you get the eye patch. Just like the other eye patch, it's the same thing. And this is the, um, okay, wait a minute. Go back, Kim. This is not, okay, I got to go back. I'm tripping. This little one is actually a lip cream. This is a lip cream. And that's the same thing in the other one. That's a lip cream. And in your toothbrush co container is your toothpaste. Okay, sorry. That was for premium select, sorry. So for Delta One, this is a lip cream. This is a hand cream, okay. And then... Uh, as you saw, this is the, the eye patch. Um, and then this is the toothbrush, and there's toothpaste in there, inside there, okay? Let me put that so where you guys can see it, okay? So that comes in there, and this is a wooden toothbrush. So you can see the huge difference between the plastic toothbrush, and this is a wooden toothbrush that's in Delta One, okay? So, oh, the sun is coming up. Okay. Okay, and there's the earplugs, the same earplugs as what is in um, the Premium Select. And you get a little Delta pin in here. And of course, you get a pair of socks in your, um, just the same pair of socks. So that's the difference between the amenities you get. Now, let me go back to, um, to Premium. Let's talk about the food. So with a premium, you get a, a nice menu, okay? And in the menu, you get um, a choice of three entrees. One is beef, one is chicken, and one is fish, right? You get all the alcohol you want. Now, this is premium, okay? You get all the alcohol you want to drink, pretty much. You just got to tell them what you want if you're an alcohol drinker. They also have other drinks as well. Everything is served uh, on uh, real cutlery. You get, uh, like you know, metal cutlery, silverware, and, um, um, uh, you know, you get juice and things like that. Um, so here's what, this is what dinner looks like. You get an appetizer and appetizers consist of say like some little, some bread or, um, last time I flew, they gave some, um, little cheese and cashews and, um, you know, you don't get just regular peanuts anymore. You get other things. So, um, you get bread and then you get your, um, you get your, your entree, the entree you pick, and then you get a dessert. Okay. And dessert consists of like, say a tiramisu or, um, a custard or something like that. You also get fruit. Okay. And you, you can always get, Hey, I would like to order again. So you can actually order more than one meal if you want, if that's not enough. So that's the thing about the great thing about premium, I feel like I'm missing something premium. Let's talk about the seats. The seats go recline all the way back where you can literally just lay back completely um, in premium. And, and then there's a little foot uh, thing where you can rest your feet. So it's like a true recliner, okay? Um, and then you have, um, because I am a medallion member and I'm a gold medallion member, um, when I came on board, they know who was sitting and sitting where. So they are assigned people. And I'm going to tell you something that I, I don't think that I like and I noticed. I noticed that if you get an upgrade, um, if you pay for your seat as opposed to getting an upgrade, sometimes the, the Delta attendants treat you a little differently. And um, a perfect example, I was coming back from Ghana and I got to upgrade the first class on my leg from JFK to Cincinnati and they, uh, everyone else was being served, you know, on a tray. They had real cup and mugs and, you know, glassware and they were being, you know, the drinks were being made, all the good stuff. I was given a cup, a paper cup for my tea. So I had to say something. I said, is this how you serve all your first class? She said, oh ma'am, I'm sorry. You want a mug? Yeah. 
I want a mug. And I thought it was just because I was upgraded. I did not pay for that seat. I was upgraded to that seat. My seat was comfort and I was upgraded. But again, I get upgrades all the time because of my status. So I feel like you should be treated that way regardless. It, that's in my opinion. Okay. So I didn't notice that. But again, when I, you know, I typically, uh, when I send a premium, um, there's someone who's pretty much assigned to you. And it was uh, a young lady, this, uh, my last trip, like we connected really, really well. I mean, I forgot I got her information. She was awesome. Uh, yeah, so that happens a lot. Um, so let's talk about uh, Delta One First Class, which I have done twice. Um, and uh, Delta One is very expensive. But again, if you know someone from the airline, if you get to the gate, sometimes they will upgrade you at the gate uh, because they like you um, or whatever the case may be. Um, but the two times I sat in, in Delta One, it was pre-booked that way because I had the points I could use it and I wanted that experience. And, and again, we're talking about international flying. When I fly internationally, I want to be able to stretch out and to lay out and you can, it lies flat. So let's talk about the amenities in Delta Delta One and Delta One, you are served on your 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 plate is uh, is China. You're not served um, like the the plate you get in premium. It's a plate, uh, and you get free you get re real cutlery. Um, but in Delta One, you get everything is is like. And they do, in, in premium, they put a napkin down for you, the same thing. But in Delta One, you get a actual tablecloth, you know, spread out. Um, every All your dishes are um, dishes, like real dishes. Um, you get to choose from an extensive menu and you can order more than once. So say, for example, you eat dinner when you first get on the flight, say 11 o'clock p.m., right? You eat dinner. So you go to sleep for a few hours. You wake up like at 2 a.m. and you're hungry again. You just call your 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 attendant and they will come um, and, uh, and, and give you some food. Like that's what they're supposed to do. And... Um, and so, again, the seats lay out, you get um, other amenities, you get a, you get uh, slippers, which I left my slippers. I didn't, you don't bring those with you because you use them already. Most people just leave them and you just leave them. You get a full-size blanket, a full-size pillow. You get slippers. Um, you get a robe and pajamas if you would like to do that. If you choose to just change in a robe and pajamas. I chose not to because I was tired. Um, but <clears throat> I've done it before where I've changed to a robe um, or the pajamas. Now, the pajamas, they come in like an extra large. That's the biggest they've gone. But I've been able to wear them in the past. So it's been cool. Um, and again, you have, it is like being in a five-star restaurant. The food is impeccable. It's impeccable. And I always order steak. When I travel international and I'm going to sit in first class, I order steak. I want the most expensive item on the menu. The other thing about sitting in Delta is Delta One is that you get and. Uh, unfortunately, premium select is though it's considered business class. Well, let me get this, get this, take it back. Business class is really Delta One. That is really your business class. Okay. So business class, people get a lot of amenities. So when I sit in business class or Delta One, I get access to the, um, to the lounge, or to the Sky Lounge. Sky Lounge, you get in there, everything is a lot it for you. You have food beyond food. You have different types of food. You have breakfast food. You have lunch food. You have dinner food. You have food that is, well, depending on the time of day, that's the type of food they'll have out for you. Or you can order from the menu. And um, all of it's free. The alcohol is free. The, all the drinks are free. Everything comes along with that. And of course, nothing is really free because you're really paying for it. But um, it's all accessible. So, um, so those are my experiences with flying three different classes on Delta. Uh, again, I don't fly Maine, but again, I can give you guys just kind of like I just, just did. I just gave you guys a, um, and, uh, an idea of what it's like to fly Maine, you know, from others perspectives. I typically will fly comfort first. That is comfort plus is my first go-to because I'm a big girl and I need the comfort. I need to be able to just chill out. So, and stretch out and have knee room and all that. And honestly, comfort plus is very doable. If you're flying international and you want a little bit of perk, flying comfort plus is good, right? Um, and so breakfast and dinner, um, in premium and, and Delta one, it's a little different in that Delta one, um, you know, you get the breakfast that everybody else is getting in comfort, but it's served to you differently. 
So I don't know if that makes sense. So that's a difference. Um, here comes the sun again. Um, and then, of course, a Delta One, you get a choice of variety. You get, you know, eggs. You, you can get eggs where you want. You can get oatmeal. You can get um, just fresh fruit. There's a lot, a different variety you can get. Uh, poached eggs. You can get uh, quite a bit. There's quite a bit to choose from. And again, it is a premium experience. And so you're going to be able to access those uh, amenities because you are paying for uh, a Delta One experience, a first class, business class experience. So, so guys, I hope that was uh, some of you guys asked me about travel. Um, my next uh, video, what this will be, the next one will be, uh, how am I able to travel as often as I am? How am I able to afford it when I am pretty much a stay-at-home mom, a self-employed mom with special needs children? We'll talk about that video next time, okay? And I'll be number two. Okay, guys. All right, your sister's peace. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.